Hey, greetings, Jay Stone here. Welcome to a beautiful day to be alive on the Cap and Ball Chronicles. Today, I'm going to respond to several versions of the same question I've been getting ever since I put out the last Cap and Ball Chronicles on Pyrodex. And that question is if you compare loads, same loads between Pyrodex and black powder, which one generates more muzzle velocity? But today, we're going to spend five good minutes figuring that out. So here we are in the Cap and Ball Fanatic loading shed. And I'm not going to take us through the loading process, but I'm going to show you what we're going to be comparing. And I'm going to compare Pyrodex to black to 3F shoots and black powder in the same cap and ball revolver with the same loads, the same wads, the same 380 round balls, and the same percussion caps. And to do that, we're going to use one of my trusty 1851 navies. We're going to be shooting 20 grains of both 3F shoots in black powder and Pyrodex P. We're going to do six shots each through the chronograph. We're going to take a record of it, and then we're going to make our comparison. Everything's good. I'm going to do what I can to make everything the same so that we can get an accurate reading on which of these powders today anyways generates higher muzzle velocity. All right, let's get started. Six good readings for the 3F shoots and powder. We got our readings. So now, six with 3F shoots and powder, six with Pirate XP, both 20 grains by volume, through the same gun with the same 380 round balls and lube wads and RWS 1075 caps. So let's take a look at the comparison and see which one generates the highest muzzle velocity. Shoots in 3F black powder generated on average 527 feet per second, which translates to 54 foot-pounds of energy, while Pyrodex generated on average 736 feet per second, which translates to 106 foot-pounds of energy. So we have an answer to our question. And that question was, on average, all things being equal, which powder generates the more muzzle velocity, Pyrodex P or real black powder? And in this case, in my 1851 Navy at 20 grains by volume, Pirate XP clearly generates more muzzle velocity than does Schutzen 3F black powder. How much more? 28% more on average feet per second and 49% more on average foot pounds of energy. So that's a pretty clear victory. That's kind of a butt whooping if you ask me. But nonetheless, it was an awful lot of fun to find that out. Now, I've said, when you're shooting these things, I can't tell the difference. I couldn't tell the difference in the video. But I'll tell you what, the chronograph didn't lie. It tells us exactly what's going on. But anyways, it was an awful lot of fun doing this today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jay Stone again for Cap and Ball Chronicles. We'll see you again on down the road the next time. Oh, and by the way, a while back I did a video on making your cap and ball revolver go bang, where we loaded them three different ways. Why don't you check that out now before you leave YouTube for the night?